Hi everyone, today we're going to study area between two curves. Let us draw the x and y axis. Here we have a graph and we name this as y equals f of x. Here is another graph below and we name this as y equals g of x. Take note that the f of x is the upper function and this is now lower function. Let us draw two vertical lines that passes through A and B respectively. We can see that there is an area that is being described. Now, the area between the two curves f of x and g of x is, this is the formula, capital A, that is the area, equals the absolute value of the definite integral from A to B. We have the difference f of x minus g of x, then dx. Let's have an example. Find the area enclosed between the curves y equals 2x squared plus 1 and y equals 4x minus x square. This is step 1, that is to find the limits a and b. What we will do is to equate y of the first function equals the y of the second function. It also follows that the right hand side of the first function is equal to the right hand side of the second function. So we write here 2x squared plus 1 equals 4x minus x squared. Let us transpose the right hand members to the left side and then let us combine like terms. So we have now 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Now let us solve 4x. We can do by factoring or using quadratic formula. Then the value of x equals 1 over 3 and 1. So we can write a to be the 1 third for the smaller value and the b is the 1. That is the bigger value. Let us do step 2 and that is solving for the area. Writing the formula and it is here. Let us now choose which one is f of x and which one is g of x. Since our problem here has no graph, we can choose any one to be f of x and the other to be g of x. Take note that in some cases that when the final answer is negative, we will just take the absolute value and take the positive value and that will be the area. So A equals the absolute value of the definite integral from one third up to one. We write f of x to be that 2x squared plus one minus the g of x, the 4x minus x squared, then dx. Simplifying the difference, we will get 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Now, let us evaluate the integral. The 3x squared becomes 3 times x cubed over 3 minus the 4x becomes 4 times x squared over 2 plus 1 becomes x. And we will integrate this later with the limits of integration. Simplifying further, we will have this x cubed minus 2x squared plus x to be evaluated from one third to one. The next step is here, one cubed minus two times one squared plus one minus the second group, one third raised to three minus two times one third raised to two plus one third. 
simplifying the first group, it will come down to 0. Minus, simplifying the second group here, it will come to 4 over 27. So 0 minus 4 over 27 will give a negative answer. But because of absolute value symbol here, we will take the positive value. So the final answer, 4 over 27 square units. This is the area. This is now the final answer. Today, we're going to study more sample problems on the topic area between two curves. Example 1. Find the area of the region bounded by the curves y equals x square and y equals negative x square plus 4x. The step one is find the limits A and B. We say that the y of the first equation is equal to the y of the second equation. Therefore, the right hand side of the first equation is equal to the right hand side of the second equation. So we write here x square equals negative x square plus 4x. Let us simplify this equation. The right hand side, let us transpose to the left side. And when we simplify, we will get 2x squared minus 4x equals 0. Let us solve now 4x. We can do factoring. The factors now are 2x times x minus 2 equals 0. Let us equate each factor to 0. So we have 2x equals 0 and the x minus 2 equals 0. Solving for x in the first factor, we have now x equals 0, while for the second factor here, the x equals 2. Therefore, we can write the a and b. The a equals 0 because this is the smaller value of x, and the b equals 2, the bigger value. Step 2 now is to solve for the area. Let us write the formula here. Let us now choose f of x and g of x respectively. We can choose the first equation to be the f of x and the second equation to be g of x. Because of this absolute value symbol, at the end, if our area becomes negative, we will just take the positive value. Substituting now the corresponding values, we have now a equals the absolute value of the definite integral from 0 to 2. f of x is that x square minus the g of x is the negative x square plus 4x, then the dx. Simplifying the difference here, we will get 2x squared minus 4x. Let us now start finding the integral. 2x squared becomes 2 times x cubed over 3 minus 4x becomes 4 times x squared over 2. Later, we will evaluate this with the limits of integration. We can simplify further this expression, and it becomes like this. Now we are ready to evaluate this expression with respect to the limits of integration. So we have now 2 times 2 cubed over 3 minus 2 times 2 squared minus 2 times 0 cubed 
all over 3 minus 2 times 0 square. The second group here will come down to 0. So we can cancel this out. While the first group can now be simplified into negative 8 over 3. But this is an area. We don't take the negative value. So we will get the absolute value. And the final answer will be 8 over 3 square units. This is the final answer. Example 2. Find the area of the region bounded by the curves y equals x squared minus 2 and y equals 2. Step 1 is to find the limits a and b. We say that y of the first equation is equal to the y of the second equation. So we have y equals y. Therefore, the right-hand side of the first equation is equal to the right-hand side of the second equation. So we write here x squared minus 2 equals 2. Simplifying this, and we will get the value of x, we have now x squared equals 4. If we take the square root of both sides, we will get the value of x, and this is equal to plus or minus 2. So we write here a equals negative 2, which is the smaller value of x, and b equals the positive 2, the bigger value of x. Then step 2, let us solve for the area. Our formula is here. Our f of x, we can write the first equation, and the gx is the second equation. Substituting the corresponding values, we have now a equals the absolute value of the definite integral from negative 2 up to 2. Our f of x is x squared minus 2 minus g of x, that is the positive 2. Let us simplify the difference here and we will get this x squared minus 4. Let us now do the integration. The x squared becomes x cubed over 3 minus the 4 is now 4x. We will evaluate this with respect to the limits of integration negative 2 up to positive 2. Evaluating further, we have now 2 cubed over 3 minus 4 times 2 minus the second group. Negative 2, the quantity is raised to 3, all over 3, minus 4 times negative 2. Simplifying the groups respectively, the first group here will get negative 16 over 3, minus the second group will get 16 over 3. If we get the difference, we will have negative 32 over 3. Of course, we will take the absolute value. So the final answer is positive 32 over 3 square units. This is the final answer. Example 3. Find the area of the region bounded by the curves. x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0. And x squared equals 8y. For our solution, first let us convert each equation showing y as a function of x. So we have the first equation to be y equals x plus 8 over 2. Or we can simplify this further. The second equation becomes y equals x squared over 8. Now, step 1. Find the limits a and b. y equals y. So we write the left-hand side to be x over 2 plus 4. 
equals the right hand side x square over a. Let us multiply this equation by the LCD of the fractions. So we can finalize this into x square minus 4x minus 32 equals 0. We can solve for x using factoring or by using the quadratic formula. And we will get the values x equals 8 and negative 4. So the value of a is negative 4, that is the smaller value, and b equals 8, the bigger value. Now, step 2. Let us solve for the area. Our formula is here. Let us do substitution. We have now a equals the absolute value of the definite integral from negative 4 to positive 8. Our f of x is the x over 2 plus 4 minus g of x. That is the x squared over 8. Simplifying our fractions, we will have this x over 2 plus 4 minus x squared over 8. Let us do now the integration. This x over 2 becomes 1 half times x squared over 2 plus integral of 4 is 4x minus integral of x squared over 8 is 1 over 8 times x cubed over 3. This will be evaluated later with respect to the limits of integration from negative 4 to positive 8. We can simplify further our expression here into x squared over 4 plus 4x minus x cubed over 24. Doing the evaluation with respect to limits, we get now this 8 squared over 4 plus 4 times 8 minus 8 cubed over 24 minus the square of negative 4 all over 4 plus 4 times negative 4 minus the cube of negative 4 all over 24. We can simplify the first group minus the big second group. So we have now the first group is simplified into 80 over 3 minus the negative of 28 over 3. Combining these fractions, we will have 108 over 3. And we can simplify this into 36 square units. This is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.